G'day, Josh here with Manu Ginobili who has just announced his retirement. If you haven't already caught up, one of the greats of NBA basketball, one of the best Europeans of all time, revolutionized the Euro step in the NBA. You see James Harden doing it. Definitely took a ton of inspiration from Manu Ginobili. Uh, and as a massive Manu Ginobili fan, I gotta give a big shout out to Greshki. Uh, I know it's a sad day in your life when your favorite player, Manu, is retiring, but he's had an incredible career, uh, tons of, of glory, tons of championships, and just an absolute beast and always fun to watch. So got to make this video in honor of Manu Ginobili and his amazing career. This is his golden ticket card, plus four agility boost to the team. Outside shooting is a 99. Playmaking and athleticism are both in the high 90s as well. If we click view more, got quite a few over 100. He's incredibly fast, 104 speed and agility, 103 scoring with contact as well. So we'll have to test that out a little bit. Let's jump into some showdown quarters and see if we can pay our respects in a way to one of the absolute best European players of all time. Definitely going to be a different NBA next year without him. He's so much fun to watch. I'm not sure if you guys remember that block he got on James Harden from behind to end one game. It was like a game-saving block. Can we start off with the top? Yes, the top corner three. Splash that. We're on the board with Manu. Oh, it's going to be such a different NBA. Like It is every year. Players retire, but... Just such a long and epic career, and he gets that steal, just can't pick up the loose ball. So you can already tell that he's gonna be solid on defense. Ooh, and he almost blocked that too. Game is being a little bit laggy, which isn't ideal. I'm not sure what's causing that. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Let's see if we can get inside with Manny. Little layup, too easy. That finger roll, couldn't stop that. Get that steal, get that steal. Oh, not quiet. I do love that inbound steal. But sometimes if you gamble on it, it allows the other point guard to just sprint way past you if you don't quite get it. And Davis with the rebound. All right, let's go straight back to Manu. Gets score that, another easy layup. You just can't stop Manu from driving inside. That was awesome. It's, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's just being a, the frame rate is not ideal. Look at that reverse spin, the little two-step layup. That was fantastic as well. Manu is basically an absolute beast inside, I've determined. Um, but yeah, the frame rate is not great at the moment, which is making it a little bit tricky for me to time things, such as blocks and perfect releases. Let's test his mid-range, little fade away. Perfect timing there, splashes that as well. So, so far, Manu is five from five from the field. This is a great start. Let's get that, uh, let's stop them from scoring again, actually. Oh, and as I say that, Irving makes his way inside. That Pantheon Irving card is an absolute beast, so I'm not surprised by that. All right, we're gonna get the ball back to Manu. Let's test his contested catch and shoot with a defender in his face. Ooh, it was close, he almost hit that. I knew he wasn't gonna hit everything though, so I'm not uh, that disappointed by a miss. LeBron with a very nice move to get by baseline. All right, let's get it back to Manu. Let's see if we can just run in. Oh, bodied up by Ray Allen, I think that is. So we'll try it again, back it out, little dribble move. See if we can get Ray Allen to bite. Doesn't, can we get around him anyway? We can. A little leaner in the lane and J uh, Manu Ginobili gets that to go as well. It's actually a lot of fun getting inside with him because he's just scoring so well. Uh, did we get the ball back? Come on, Manu, block that, he does. Manu with the one block. Oh, he almost got the second block, not quite. All right, we got five, four seconds, so we're gonna end this with the bottom corner three, hopefully a splash, perfect timing on the release, and you know he's gonna hit that, and he does. So 16 points, Manu was on fire that quarter. The inside game was particularly strong. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do in the second showdown quarter as we just skip through this. Ooh. Now, if you guys aren't aware, I have started streaming once a week at this stage. 
So make sure to check the, the rewinds that are up so you can skip through those if you're interested, but make sure to just uh, check in with my channel. If you have the bell icon on, you should get notified when my stream, uh, I, try and, I try and upload the date that I'll be doing it a couple of days in advance so you guys can get some early notice. And we start this quarter off with another three from Manu. He has not missed from deep yet. Oh no, that one contested shot that I forced up intentionally, he did miss that. Uh, it's very easy to forget when they basically just hit everything. A, let's get this one inside. It's Manu v Manu. Manu beats Manu all the way to the cup and he scores that one. That was nice. All right, let's get the ball back from Hayward. Haven't uh, faced that Hayward card too much actually, so it's nice to see him. Definitely seen this Irving a bit though and he loves to dribble the ball and he's gonna splash that. I had a feeling. All right. Straight back to Manu. Let's see if we can get uh, the defender to bite on the pump fake. Not quite, but we can use Davis as the screen. Oh! Hoo -hoo. And I don't mind that. That gives you a little indication of what Manu's AI is like. He blocked that very nicely. So we'll try and force our way inside again. The spin move, not quite. Pump fake. We're going to have to fade away. 24% gets it to go. Very nice. It got, got myself in trouble, but was able to get out of it. Manu made me look a little bit better than I played that possession, that's for sure. Come on, Ben. Get that loose ball. Knock it loose. Ooh. Thought Davis was going to shoot. Went for the well-timed block, but he just passed back to Irving. He's going to shoot that, though. We don't get the block. And Manu scores on us. But as I said... This is kind of giving you guys an indication of the strength of his AI. So I don't actually mind it too much. Oh, we're wide open. Pull that trigger, hit that deep mid-range shot. Uh, the def I lost the other Manu who was defending me. Just, a just enough. Oh, here we go. Nice steal by Ben. Go to Manu if we can find him. And force our way inside. Contested shot. Oh, not quite. Out of bounds. Oh. That was probably not the greatest pass, but I will take that because it gives me another possession and get it to Manu as he's cutting, if we can. Oh, almost could have gone the alley-oop with him, but I wasn't going to risk that. Just a mid-range shot, pretty deep, not the best timing, and we do rim that one out. Got to get that ball back. Come on, give me that. Go, Manu, get in there. Can I switch to him? It's not going to matter. Oh, there we go. Ah. Oh. I was too busy switching. I should have just stayed with the one person. That's all right. These things happen. All right, back to Manu. Pump fake. Ooh. Manu did bite on that. Ah, and he finishes strong. Falls to the ground with the finish, but he got the points. That's awesome. Can we get one more possession before the clock expires? Really just want to spam steal. So the AI either shoots. Ooh, we get the block. Uh, <laughs> can't get it to Manu. Not in time. And Davis, not quite from half court. But that is that is clearly an indication of how solid this Manu card is inside and outside. He was scoring from everywhere. Really solid defensively as well. A ton of fun to use. And I'm so glad that Manu has a golden ticket card to celebrate what has been an incredible, incredible career. Thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And if you like this sort of content, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my new content.